What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your Nintendo Switch has the black screen and you cannot log on and get on to play your Nintendo Switch. Let's get right into this. So if you're having the black screen or also known as the black screen of death on your Nintendo Switch, the first thing you're going to want to do is a soft reset, which is very easy to do. What you're going to want to do is unplug the power adapter from the console and the outlet. You're going to wait 30 seconds and you're going to reconnect the power adapter and try to turn on your Nintendo Switch. This is basically a soft reset and hopefully it will work for you. The next thing you're going to try is to do a hard reset, which is still easy to do. To do this, you're going to press and hold the power button for 20 seconds seconds, you're going to release the power button and then you're going to press it again and your Nintendo Switch should turn on as normal and you can play it once again without the black screen of death. Now if that didn't work for you, the next thing to try would be a different power adapter for your Nintendo Switch. Hopefully you are using a Nintendo official one and that hopefully will work for you. Now if you are getting a black screen on your Nintendo Switch with a small battery symbol in the corner, what you're going to want to do is try charging your Nintendo Switch for a couple hours and then try turning it on again. And and see if the black screen is gone. That is one problem a lot of people have where it's just a pure black screen and a little charging symbol in the corner whenever they try to turn it on. That means your, your Nintendo Switch is completely dead and it does need to be fully charged. Now, if your Nintendo Switch is turning on as normal, but whenever you try to connect it to your TV, your TV just has a blank screen, what you're going to want to do is to go and try to use a different HDMI cable. And if your TV has multiple HDMI ports, try connecting it to a different HDMI port as well, along with trying a different HDMI cable, because it could just be a problem with the cable or the HDMI port in your TV. Now, hopefully one of these quick fixes did work for you. With a Nintendo Switch, there's honestly not too much else that you can try other than what I just mentioned. So hopefully one of them did work for you. If they did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.